I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Then let us begin. Fallen. Yes. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. Off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. What is the machine saying? We seem to have found it.
Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor V will only happen in time, and it cannot happen here, near the battlegrounds where you fought. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there, more like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. She speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path she did. We are not the ones who taught her. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserved to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believed was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth, and she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but 
You know that. I don't know, General. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first. And nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? How many credits? Got a minute? I'm a little busy here. What is it? Won't take more than a minute. All right, I'll work. While you talk. Look, your friend, the Jedi? You know her from way back, don't you? How much do you know about her, really? Her? You mean the General? Yeah, during the war. If that's what you mean by way back. Can't say I know too much about her, though. Better than anyone else on this ship. Just give me your opinion, okay? And don't laugh. I'm trying to work here, Atten. I was just wondering if you thought maybe she and I might... You're being serious. You said you wouldn't laugh. You are being serious. Atten, she was a general. I was just a tech. Your guess is about as good as mine. Well, what's your guess, then? I'm getting back to work. Hey! I'm being serious here. You're laughing at me? I'll put you on the scrap heap, you walking tin can. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Yes? Have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? Ask, and I will answer. There is nothing wrong with my sight, if that is your question. I see all that I need, Though the seeing of things flesh and blood has failed me some time ago, they were distractions only. There is nothing wrong with my eyes. They simply have atrophied from use. They are adequate to distinguish shapes, silhouettes. If need be, I could heal them, restore my sight. But sight can prove a distraction. When one relies on sight to perceive the world, it is like trying to stare at the galaxy through a crack in the door. But that is a lesson for another time. You must learn to see crude matter for what it is before the veil is lifted.
Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. She's inside Kunda. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else.
my lightsaber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Well, it was a planet of her people. If they see through the Force, who knows? If they're all Force-sensitive, maybe they all saw something through the Force that we can't see, and they left before it happened. Or maybe it killed them. They claim to see on a higher plane than we do. You know, the whole Force thing. Makes me nervous. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's... well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Just mentioning it, she looks like she's suffered enough wounds already, even after the beating you gave her. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. If you take her on as a servant, know that the Sith meet their end at the hands of their apprentices. It is not something I would wish to happen to you. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Then you are learning. Did he? And what do you make of that? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone, vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. I fear you are right, and I fear it may prove more than that. War is a hunger, and there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully, she may reveal more. Ask, and I will answer. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. 
Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Yes, have you come with questions? Very well. When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. They neglect their skills. Some believe they no longer need them. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more physical realities of the universe. Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build, from simple moisture vaporators to more complex machines such as droids and vehicles. One's ability to understand the human body and its ailments, for example, can make your powers within the Force more complete, more powerful, when you attempt to repair the cellular damage of another. And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion. Do not doubt that a galaxy may be conquered with words, a republic overthrown, and an empire made. When such skills are honed, one's abilities with the Force become that much stronger. My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your companions to compensate for your weaknesses in skill. There will be times they will not be there to help you when needed. What skill would you say is your greatest strength? And what skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest weakness, devote effort to it, strengthen it, and I will show you how it shall strengthen your power in the Force. As you learn and train and test yourself against the galaxy, all your skills have a chance to improve and grow as well. When you devote some of that training to your weakest skill, you will know. Ask and I will answer. Yes? That is something we will leave until we possess a lightsaber. Very well. Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? There is nothing more that I can teach you now. My life for yours. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. The scars are many and the cause is equally so. It is of no importance. I felt you, heard you through the force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. 
I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels, until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me, and I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I... I serve my master. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force. There is little my master does not know. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits, dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes. But there's no one left to hear it. I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It... was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. I imagine there are worse deaths. Worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. Yes, but it was not survival. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If... Perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there... Lying in the bodies of my race, he took me for his own. And he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy. And I wished to die. To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, was nothing but crude matter, rock, flesh, emptiness. He showed the flickering of life on other planets. The mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy. To see such creatures, disconnected from themselves, their world, their place in it, unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them. He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced me the galaxy, all life, must die. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and in its place, he left silence. And where there was chaos, he brought stillness and order. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. 
and my master has his. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left, only me. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He cannot deny his hunger for long. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them. And they did. I will answer what I can. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time. But there are others who may move more freely. Who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. There are many factions within the Sith. All seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi. And their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you. And it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I will answer what I can. My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith. All seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not all they be. I My people once had the power to perceive events. To see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways. And at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you... It is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. My master, he has crippled me. I have seen the galaxy as it truly is, and it has left its mark. It is not something I can explain, for the words are difficult. I only ask that you understand. I will answer what I can. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say. But it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. It is not a subject which I have spoken of. My life for yours. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. I understand now. I shall practice what you have taught me. My life for yours. I am prepared for... I understand now. My life for your... 
I will answer what I can. Yes. Very well. Yes, have you come with questions? Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? They certainly would. You remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. A lot of people here hate... Are you waiting for the Administrator, too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators and hydro processors. The thief must be desperate for credits. 
I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Oh, sorry. If you're brand new to these parts, you may not have any issues with Garavik, unlike most everyone else. You're fortunate not to know him. He's a salvager. His purpose in life seems to be causing us headaches. I can tell he's back in Kunda just by the pounding in my head. If you're not here about Garavik, do you have some other problem? Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Uh, manners, right. I'm Baroon Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Well, that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Dantooine has had mercenaries on it for years. I've talked with some, and they're not unreasonable. There's got to be some sort of compromise we can both live with. We haven't been able to prove the mercenaries have done anything terribly wrong. And I believe them. I don't think they're involved. The calf hounds and Kinrath are everywhere. It's just dangerous. I think we should be working on getting along. It's hard to follow orders that have you make things worse. There's danger everywhere. I think the direction we're headed may be even more dangerous. I can see we don't agree on this. Uh, maybe we should just talk about something else. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. Most militia news passes by me and Zeron. I might be able to help. I've heard that rumor too. People get really riled up about Jedi around here. Some people seem to have a selective memory. During the war, the Jedi were a big help here. They did everything for us. From clearing out dangerous beasts to solving a murder investigation. I try to stay out of it, though. Standing up for Jedi is one way to become unpopular around here. Maybe. Although I don't know why a Jedi would come back here. The only reason why people ever came here before was the Enclave. And with that gone... <laughs> Easy to say for someone that doesn't live here. I'd rather grab an unshielded power coupling than get involved in that debate. The militia's dealing with enough already. All right, stay out of trouble now.
insolana Carono ma winos I heard a rumor that the- I'm the militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to militia headquarters? Hmm. There are better places to explore and better people to know. I'm sure you have your reasons, though. I'm sure you got questions of your own. And if you're interested, I might have some work for you. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's all I can ask. You want something? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. 
Garovic says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game at the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses, but nobody remembers Garovic ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes? No friendly greetings are here for you. I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something of mine they have in their possession. It's very unwise to stand in my way. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Another interrupt. The salvagers keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst. In Saranak.
Sorry, this door is blocked off. Chara, nana gundoso remine a kelo rakto kuro kat. Mana matre to sobre barakto drun. Tere wana jun konata delar. Dere into run to walk away kwe wap gerebu. Dere into run to walk away kwe wap ater. Dere into run to walk away kwe wap gerebu. Tere wana jun. There we How may I serve?
Bounty to serve. I shall make this one see. Oh. This one see. This one will fall. Let us end this. This shall not stop us for long. What is it? Is mine? How may I serve? You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Oh, is that so? You're no mercenary, and with those armaments, this isn't a social call. You're at least thinking of heading to the ruins. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. Don't tell me that flaming Solru sent you. I went over all this with Zeron. We've been hit by the flaming thief more than he has. Every other night it seems we find something missing. And it's not like we have much. We keep asking Zeron to help us, but he sends us nobody. So the thief keeps coming from the ruins or whatever hole he lives in and taking what's ours. If we ever catch him, we'll take our time killing him. The only guess I've heard is it's a mercenary that's been kicked out. Most of them leave us alone. They focus most of their attention on the settlers. But we really don't know. I hear he's planning to shoot anybody that goes on his farm. I'm just glad we're not the only people suffering. Maybe if he moans enough, the militia will do something. That's our best guess. Sneaky as sin, but Raylon caught a glance of him that way. We keep hoping the Legrex finish the thief off, but that would be far too easy for us. If you haven't met Raylon, though, he's not... Uh, reliable. He's in the camp if you want to talk to him about the thief. If you must. If you can do something about the thief, do it and get out of here. There's nothing for you here anyway. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. Thank you.
Oh, a visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. A civilized person with manners. A question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. A uh, shrewd question from a discerning mind. My price will be very low. You could sell it for thousands. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. A uh, discerning question. Well, the reason is simple. The market of buyers is limited on Dantooine. If I were on course, and I could make a fortune with this. My dilemma is I lack the funds to travel. So I cannot reach a better market, so my price is reduced. But you travel. And surely you could find a Jedi buyer. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. Well, your wisdom is immense. Here's the holocron. Now business is done, we can talk of other things. So, what should we talk about? You should talk to Dorala. I've told her everything I know. I think I saw the thief by the ruins of the Enclave. I believe that the thief has to be living in the sub-level, because every place else has been visited many times by the salvagers. I didn't get a clear look at the thief. It was dark, and the ruins provide many hiding places. There isn't much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated by settlers, mercenaries, and us. I hope you've enjoyed your purchase. All sales are final, I'm afraid. You should take the matter up with the militia, but they will say the same. And you bought it. That is your problem, not mine. You should be more careful with large purchases in the future. There's nothing more I want to discuss. Take the matter up with Zeron, head of the militia. But you will not like what you hear. Ah, the traveler has returned. So, what shall we talk about? I hope you've enjoyed your purchase. All sales are final. Salvagers have been selling outsiders precious artifact. There's nothing more I want to discuss. You still lurking around here? Yes. Very well. Have you done as I... The ability to persuade others is a powerful weapon. Perhaps more so than any lightsaber. It is a strength to defeat an opponent without combat. To convince them that your will is right or just. Or will simply benefit them in a way that they had not perceived. Examine their actions and the why of how they do them. And when you achieve such understanding, more truths may be revealed. Skill does not always draw from the Force, but it is a measure of power nonetheless. It can grant knowledge, help steady oneself when one's thoughts are in chaos, or grant enlightenment. Much can be achieved without the Force, as you know. Life continues, persists, and may be helped or harmed as a result. Now I am tired. Leave me to my meditations. Do you feel it? The wound on this world, it is centered here. If we succeed in gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. We will know when the time comes. And I hope our enemies do not. What is it? My life is yours. I'm out. 
announcement. You have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain. This shall not stop us for long. <clears throat> A weakness is revealed. is revealed. Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? You won't find anything there except on the lowest sub-level, and there you'll only find death. Legrex are everywhere. I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub-level, and we get swarmed by Legrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. Are you kidding? Of course we aren't. He's on his own. I only wish he didn't have the salvage on him. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business.
Fallen. Fallen. You are no match for us. I will silence this one. Fallen. A weakness is revealed. Fallen. Shall make this one see. A weakness is revealed. Fallen. Fallen. A weakness is revealed. Fallen. A weakness is revealed. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons, I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers... She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. I have time to kill. Can I help you? Just trying to make a living. It's not glamorous work. I'm not paid to, I'm not paid to talk to you. Move along. Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud licker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm a real soldier, and you're just a trainee with a dart gun. Don't you dare compare yourself to me. What? I'm a veteran of the Jedi Civil War. I fought dozens of battle-trained Republic soldiers. You're going to die. Here. Here's my gun. Here's my credits. I... I can't... I can't wait for those salvagers to ship off this pl I don't suppose you're here to hire us. I know about the thief. The amount of noise the settlers have made over that thief, you'd think he stole their whole planet. Before you ask, I have no idea who the thief is. It's not one of us. If we wanted something that bad, we'd just take it. You've wandered into the wrong camp. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. I know about the thief. Before you ask, I have no idea who the thief is. Smells like another salvage. Ease off, Nalik. I don't need help to take out a mud licker. I'm a real soldier. I don't want to fight. What do you want to know?
All the time. They tell us to be careful. Just scare them and make sure we get anything we want. Except Kunda, we got everything under control. There's been a couple of people we had to get rid of, but I wasn't on those trips. Askal's got it all figured out. I don't know for sure. I hear rumors. I heard we got a secret job working with some powerful organization. No one tells me who. I know we're planning an attack soon, but I don't know against who. They aren't too far, though, because we're expecting to attack soon. I told you what I know. Someone rich and powerful. We're not gonna have to hit up settlers for food and supplies anymore. I don't feel so well. The warrior returns. Get... I can't wait for those salvagers to ship off this planet. We smell it up. Revealed. Fallen. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous, but as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it, but I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. Visitor, please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual, but you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, 
Our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Besides that, just listen and ask around. I hope that you haven't run into any difficult... Is there anything else? Jaren knew the risks. He wouldn't do anything. Ah, the Traveler has returned. So, what should we talk about? My life is yours. I hear you. It's 
shall not stop the sword. Fallen. A weakness is revealed. To fail. Revealed. My leg, Rex. You've killed him. They're my pets. I'm not a thief. People give to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. You're one of them. Just another stinking salvager and thief. Stealing what belongs to Jedi. I'm a Padawan. And one day, one day I will learn enough to be a Jedi. What do you mean? I've always been trained to be a Jedi. You sound like my other master. He's gone too. He said terrible things. I have? I feel like I've done something... something wrong. But it's so hard to think about. I get so angry! Nothing, I guess. It's just... there have been times I've told the Legrex to kill. Isn't that wrong? But I have to protect the Enclave. This is my home. I just want them all to leave me be. It's tearing me apart. Never to attack others. But they are stealing what is mine. What is meant for the Jedi. I remember now. Respect all life, in any form. What? What have I done? I'm trying to be a Jedi, but it's so hard with everyone dead. I was studying here when Darth Malak and the Sith came. I was outside the Enclave when my master left me at the Madalay estate. Shen protected me. But the Sith came, asking questions. All the Madalays died. But I hid. Even when the estate was burning, I hid. So I hide. I'm hiding until my master returns. You were? I, I had no idea. You aren't anymore? Are there any Jedi left? They are like me. I thought it was alone. Are there any masters? I remember him. I sent my Legrex to get him to leave. But he just made my pets 
stop. I was going to talk to him, but the mercenaries came for him. They never come down here. I was surprised and hid. There was a big fight. They said they were going to take him someplace. I... I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll... think of something else. Something that doesn't hurt anyone. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. Here, you can have them. I had a holocron, but it said terrible things. I threw it far away. It told me the Jedi were no more, that I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to find it, but the Salvatrice stole it. It was my only teacher. I... I don't know. I'll try to find a master to teach me. There have to be some left. I'm not going to use the force until I find one. So much has gone wrong. Should I feel bad that I feel better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned, I think I need to unlearn them. And also with you. Thank you! You are no match for us. I shall make this one see. for us. 
us. A weakness is revealed. Fallen. Focus. I will silence this one. Fallen. I hear
this one will fall. My life is yours. I hear you. Weakness is revealed. Focus. 